Hi Libra, so in today's video we're going to get you a prediction for the month of September 2021. So first we're going to see for a friendship. So first we're going to see for... So first we're going to see in general, then we're going to see for love more specifically specifically for those of you that are um, in a relationship or for those of you that are in the talking phase. Then we're going to see for the singles. Then we're going to look for career slash finances. Then we're going to look for friendships. And last but not least, we're going to get you an advice. Also, for those of you interested in doing a personal reading, you can visit my page on With You as Time Out with Leo, where I have many options of different readings you can purchase. Okay, so let's start. So please, um, you can watch for your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Please remember that energy is interchangeable. And as I'm doing the general reading, please remember that um, it can resonate in any um, areas in your life. Um, it does have to real um, to resonate just in love. Okay. So let's see. king of swords something someone is being cut out of your life maybe you're doing this on your own or something is forcefully being cut out of your life during this month let's see what that's about could be a male or maybe this month you're going to use your you're going to be more in tune and touch each of strong um with your divine masculine energy here yeah eight of swords there's something you need to release yourself out of so it could be as simple or as little as um uh, way of thinking something that you the eight of swords is something the usually the eight of swords is somebody that is tied up but you can see the rope are very loose therefore this is you can tell this is the only person who tied themselves up right therefore it's very easy that um to untie um them um yourself right and i feel like you're getting your um out of a situation that maybe you you put yourself out okay i feel like maybe there was something you stuck but you were very much in your own power in your own ability to get yourself out of and you're doing that or maybe your universe is forcefully doing that for you but we have the justice card libra energy here um so whoever is deserves their karma is gonna get it good and or bad so karma is gonna be served here yeah you're stronger mentally and physically than you think you are okay it's something you thought you couldn't get yourself out of but all of a sudden you're opening your eyes to something to realizing your own strength inner strength reclaiming your own power um, maybe it took you a little bit of strategy to get yourself out of but regardless you're, you're out of it and you're stronger than ever here okay this is like one of the more badasses um not that I didn't miss things, but grammatically, but like this is one of the baddest eight of swords, okay? Usually the eight of swords is somebody that is tied up. Nope, she's nothing but that, okay? She's such a badass queen, honestly, badass B, okay? And that's what I see you as during this month, okay? Karma's gonna strike wherever it needs to strike, good and or bad, okay? So yeah, Leo energy here it could be dealing with Leo or another Libra here. Let's see what else we have going on. But yeah, you're getting in tune with your feelings. You're acknowledging your feelings. Not somebody, maybe somebody manipulating you guys, like you making you believe a certain way or making you feel guilty for feeling a certain way. But no, you are emotionally mature. You are emotionally, mentally um, stable. Okay, maybe somebody made you believe otherwise, make you feel like you were crazy for having feelings, which is totally normal. It's the most human thing um to have okay feelings but i'm not trying to be shady okay but a lot of um not a lot but there's quite a few individuals that do not have feelings and you have that blessing to feel feelings okay um and don't let anybody else anybody told you otherwise okay um that wasn't even shady but it may look as shady but yeah this is actually individuals that are that lack emotional sensitivity um emotional intelligence sensitivity compassion um com compassion and you have that okay so don't make anybody feel make you feel like oh you're crazy for having normal 
human things okay emotions are the most normal things to have to feel okay they have their own issues and they're projecting their issues their lack onto you okay ace of wands here let's see what that's about Night so somebody here finds you very attractive or somebody here yeah like there's sexual tension here somebody is charging ahead towards you or maybe you're charging ahead towards someone here that you feel very attracted to but like physically oh but this person is toxic or it's gonna be a very toxic relationship the devil capricorn energy uh, this could be your baby daddy an actual baby daddy or if not temperance the emperor aries energy the temperance sagittarius energy so, and if not this is this could be your future baby daddy but i feel like you're gonna have a very toxic relationship with this person a very good dependent energy with this person and this is interesting because the emperor is the dad of the tarot and the temperance to me in this specific deck is you know making a baby together so this is interesting that we have the dad the sexual card and the baby card literally so i feel like yeah you may have a like a baby already with this person and if um or maybe if you do not have a baby with this person already this is somebody you're gonna have a baby with but this is somebody took so mm -mm. let's see yeah this is somebody that is just here to have fun nothing serious so i don't feel like this is the best person to have babies with um period but i feel like together you're just toxic period okay um three of wands i feel like you're stuck with your baby daddy or your baby mama i feel like it's a, a male here or somebody that has a very very strong divine masculine energy to them but i don't know why i feel more so of a male here take care of it but this person is stuck or maybe this is you that is stuck okay the three of wands could be somebody that is stuck period or stuck from somebody from the past so i feel like you're stuck on your baby daddy but you know this person is toxic but they're coming back or maybe you're gonna you're thinking you're considering you're consider yeah considering yeah uh going back to your baby daddy baby mama or maybe this is your baby daddy that is stuck on you okay let's see one more scenario for general okay yeah judgment gemini energy somebody from the past could be coming back could be this baby daddy energy but this person could have depths and they're trying to run away from it going towards you but by going towards you they're gonna put their issues onto you could be their death they're in death or whatever it is or something they're running away from because the five of swords almost wanted to come out here and um to me that's a death card okay somebody that runs that runs away from their death so let's see what let's see what that's about but somebody from the past is definitely coming back could be this baby daddy like i just mentioned or could be somebody somebody totally different okay um not every scenario have to resonate with you but let's see but they could be very much intertwined okay um the angman originally pisces energy but personally libra energy to me so somebody here is in that in denial somebody doesn't want to see something for what it is so yeah it could be this baby daddy that knows them while you're toxic um when you're together or maybe you know them while you're toxic with this baby daddy baby mama and you but you you're attracted to them you miss them but you know they're not good for you it's good what is last but in the long term it's not a good option to be with this person or maybe this is somebody else where um somebody is in denial when it comes to you I, um hmm let's see somebody here could be a leo here king of wands could be somebody that is very again somebody here that is very protective they want to protect their kingdom but it's like bro like it's way past that like it's been here and now it's been years okay I'm, i wanted to say years but i almost said i said year instead so it could have been a year net of pentacles and nine of pentacles are going into here so somebody here could have taken a year okay or years the night pentacles means years but i accidentally said year so it could resonate for somebody out there but this person is single focusing on their coins so this is could be you it could be michelle but like okay it's been a long time while you're coming back all of a sudden and acting like nothing happened it's like as, this person is coming back as if you were still together like what is this fuckery okay i always say that whenever i say past energy i always say this as a joke because most of the time it's the person is still unavailable they're still toxic they're still having baggages from the past relationship from yours or from another relationship as well or another connection um and maybe even sometimes they come back but still being just as if whatever they would what they want to do with you whatever it is like it doesn't have to be just in romance but whenever i say past energy 
I always say this at a though because I feel like this person is acting as they're very much in denial about you and they're acting as if you never separate each other. You never broken you never broke up. Yes, you can break up in love just like you can break up with a friend. A breakup is a breakup. Okay, um just wanted to <laughs> clarify that. Okay, um yeah, and it's like what it's been years and now all of a sudden you're protecting what matters to you but I'm no longer yours. Doesn't make sense. Like I just said, okay, you're single focusing on your coins and it's like all of a sudden this person is rushing in. Not even rushing in, it's took them years and it's, you see, they're so in denial. They're so delusional that it's like as if, it's like, it's like as if the, the relationship, the connection is still continued over the years. Even though you haven't seen this person in five years, it's as if you were with this person for your life. For It's as if you were still with this person for the last five years. It doesn't make sense. Like, you're delusional. Move on. Okay, that's the energy that I get from this person here. Or move on or just open your eyes because this person is very much like, what the hell is going on? Okay, let's see. It's giving me very much, if you know the show, Manifest. It's like this person, like, maybe they think that just a few months passed by, but it's been years that passed by, and they think, like, they can just come back as if everything, nothing has changed, okay? If you know the show, that's that's a message for you right there. But, uh, okay, so now let's see in love. So if, we're going to see more specific. Uh, first, we're going to see for those of you that are, that are in the relationship or for those of you that are in the talking phase, we're going to see for the single. So those of you that have a crush or a crush situation, choose whichever one you want as you know your situation the best. I want to mention first that here, if I see something that does not, um, that is off topic, aka doesn't talk about love i'm still gonna mention it because if i see something there's something there's a message for somebody out there okay and i know i'm off topic if i do get off topic but if there the cards are showing me a message i'm gonna read it okay i'm not gonna ignore it just i'm not just gonna ignore a message okay so let's see for love okay that was fast and ending the world fixed energy taurus Virgo. no leo scorpio aquarius what, what a damn minute. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Okay, so there's an ending here. Or this is somebody you had a, already had an ending with. So maybe this is somebody coming back. Or maybe there's an ending. You're breaking up with your person. Or your person is thinking about breaking up with you. Maybe this is somebody that did that couldn't move on from you. Okay, they could have had another, another other relationships. But they never li truly forget forgotten you. And as I say that, the amen. Uh, originally passed his energy, but personally, Libra energies to me. So uh, somebody's in denial. Somebody's delusional. Somebody hasn't moved on from you. They're still not over you. It could have been years. And they could have dating a bunch of other people or seen a bunch of other people. But whenever they date somebody, they cannot get you out of their head. Okay? Somebody's very much a delusional here that they don't want to end something. Or there's, there was never an ending with you between you and this other individual here. Let's see what that's about. And this is interesting because for every sign, I always say that for every sign, there's always a, repeat, a few, one or multiple repetitive cards. And for you, it's already the eggman. I see it. Okay, let's see what else comes up. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for love. For those of them that are in the relationship or in the talking phase, can you give me more cards regarding the world and the eggman? What is going on? Okay, thank you. So we have, yep, yep. Three of Wands as well. Repetitive card here. Um, the Three of Wands is somebody that could be stuck or could be stuck on someone from the past. So again, a stuck energy. Somebody is delusional. Somebody cannot move on from you. So they could be coming back. Or maybe um, maybe you gave already this. Maybe you're already dealing with this person and you already gave them a second chance. But you're like, uh-uh. We're, on, we're not on the same page you i feel like this is definitely i always believe that in a relationship there is always one person loving the other one way more and i feel like this is them they love you way more than you do love them and i feel like maybe you don't love each other in the same way so you love them as an individual right but they love you as a lover like they see a future with you but you don't love you love them you have you you know you have um compassion for them but not on the same level that they do love and care about you okay let's see what that's about yeah seven of swords there was a lot of uh, shady energy but this person was caught okay this person was 
Cut is being sneaky here. They try to steal something from you. Maybe they cheating on you or low key they were seeing other people as they were seeing you. Okay, there was a lot of shadiness, but they got caught okay um and you're done with this person you're low-key done with this person there was a lot of shady shit and maybe they're trying to own up to it but no it's i, I don't feel like any sign that you want them back and i feel like more so that that they're stuck on you yeah oh my gosh okay i'm gonna start thinking guys they, they just repeat each other they just it just repeats the same self uh, the same thing um, if I woke up, somebody feeling is feeling the loss of, of something, the loss what you guys have. Okay, they're not focusing. They've still been. It could have been ten years, and they still um, feeling like they lost a good thing with you. But you had your. I feel like you had this person had their chance, and they lost it. They wasted it. They they're the one who who done fucked up. That's the energy that is giving me. And maybe you already gave them a second chance. So maybe when they're gonna come back you're gonna try and see if you still have things for this person. Maybe you're gonna try to give a chance to this person but it's like mm, I don't feel like to me personally if the trust is broken there's no going back on that. Like no matter whatever it is, whatever friendship, love, if trust is broken, it's over. And I feel like, yeah, especially if there were shady shit, like shady energy, there is there is a lack of trust here. And I feel like there's there's no going back on that. Once the trust is messed up with, broken. Okay, just like a glass. When a glass is broken, when you put the pieces back together, you're going to still see the cracks where it's been broken. Okay, it's never going to be 100 person and there's always going to be lack of trust and there's always going to be an issue. Um when it comes to trust and if you cannot trust your person it's not worth it's not your person it's not worth being your person because all you're always going to be worried that they're doing some shady shit and this is not how you should feel in the relationship or in any other relationship but since we're talking about love especially in love this is supposed to be your person you shouldn't be able to trust them and not be always worried insecure the first person they look at this they're at or worry if they're talking to another person no you should never feel um underappreciated you should never feel that way especially with your person and i feel like they low-key made you feel that or it was close to a point that they could have they they almost made you feel that and you cut the thing before you cut the relationship before it went to that route and i feel like they're coming back but like you messed up you them you messed up why are you coming back because i feel like it may they may still do the same issue they may still have the same issues especially when it the you last dealt with them especially if they were already a grown ass adult yes we both change but yeah that's how i feel about that especially if they were yes if they were a teenager yeah people change right but especially if they were a grown ass adult when you had something like that and they were shady they cheated on you or they looked away they they talked to other people on the side as if they were talking to you there was a lack of honesty yeah no uh-uh Especially if yourself feel like they haven't changed. They mostly haven't. Okay, let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Let's see what else we see. Okay, Ace of Wands. In the river. Ooh. You do no longer feel the attraction, the physical attraction, or your person you no longer feel attractive to you. Somebody here is focused on their points, on their work. Okay, there's maybe you haven't had sex in a while. Okay, and whatever a while means to you, it's what it means to you. Okay, especially the sex because everybody um, has a different definition of having done sex in a while. Okay, so take it. Um, uh, as you wish okay so let's see what that's about the year friend because this person is still loyal to you but there's a lack of love here queen of pentacles the six of swords and six of wands gemini energy so the queen of pentacles to me somebody that puts a lot of work time effort energy especially in relationships so i feel like there's the effort here but there's lack of sex there's a lack of love here somebody you're both focused on okay maybe here somebody here is focused on the relationship where somebody is focused on their work but the loyalty is still there okay take whoever you are here because i feel like they're this is you guys both of you guys so this could be you you could be the queen of pentacles and the other person could be the eight of pentacles or vice versa but this is interesting that we have the year friend because i feel like there's still your loyalty but there's still a lack of uh, a lack a lack of feelings <laughs> here maybe because of covid but hmm. 
a single bunch of people don't give a fuck about COVID when it comes to sex. Just saying. So, yeah, I feel like your person, like, miss feeling you, touching you, hugging you, kissing you. Like, there's a lack of, like, maybe you're with your person, but the feelings are not really there. I feel like you're you i'm not saying you specifically or them specifically i'm just saying you in general so it could be either or or both um somebody here feels a lack of not necessarily love but a lack of attraction okay that's where i'm going a lack of attraction it's like there's not enough like sex or when there's the sex it's, it's like oh like there's not enough passion as they would think they would be or yeah there's something here there's a lack of something here <sighs> maybe you're not giving your person enough attention in the bed or maybe this is you that feels that way towards your person but it's if it's your person they should they should be no um accredity you should be you should feel free to be honest with them just like they should be free to be honest with you okay um but yeah it could be mutual okay but um yeah i don't see that's the only issue here because i see loyal your person is loyal like even if you don't give enough and you give them enough or what they want in bed like there's loyalty you're still loyal to them the loyalty is there Okay, no matter what but there's still a lack of if somebody here or both of you feels the lack in the bed here there's a lack of sensuality or something something in the bed here okay let's see now let's see for singles for swords White no man. Okay, I feel like you're resting right now, but you still it's it's like you're resting but you're having a hard time not doing anything and you're mixed between starting over or staying in something that is toxic for you here. Let's see. You're overthinking. You're trying to separate yourself from something because you're trying to see things from an, things from another perspective when it comes to a person or a specific situation. Whether you should start over with this person, start over without this person, or if you should stay in a toxic relationship here. But the strength, godly energy, you're strong. Okay, I feel like you're strategizing what you should do when it comes to a specific situation, person here. Um, but that is not good for you. You're you're resting, but you're overthinking while you're resting. Okay, let's see what else we see. Oh yeah, I priestess. We're gonna do this. Is interesting. You know what I'm what I'm talking about. As I said that, she know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, Virgo energy could be regarding a Virgo, a Leo. Let's see. Another scenario, please. The chair, somebody can energy. Is somebody coming forward? Somebody is charging ahead. Somebody very passionate. Somebody that has a very fiery energy. Somebody that has a childlike energy. Uh, probably even. Somebody could be younger. This person could be younger than you. They could be a fire sign. They said you just Aries. Um, this is a little, this person is a little um, adventurous, okay? Um, they love adventures, okay? Very passionate page of cups is somebody or it could be two people coming in okay but this is somebody here that could come and apologize to you and if this is somebody new they're gonna come and make you a very heartfelt and sincere offer or i see possibly two people coming in there's somebody one of their person this person that you cut or maybe this person is gonna come apologize and you're gonna cut them or hmm, you're gonna cut the devil capricorn energy somebody here is toxic yeah, you're going to try to protect your energy for our particles at all costs, your money even as well. But there's two people or one person that's going to come or come back. But somebody here or two people are charging ahead towards you. But there's somebody that's going to be cut out of your life because there's a toxic energy. And this is only that we have the king of swords and the devil. As I, I literally just said that there was a toxic energy around you. Okay, so it could be somebody else or it could be two different scenarios. So it both scenarios do not have scenarios do not have to resonate for you but this is funny that we see i, I just said there was a toxic energy around you and we have both the same energy coming back again in two different spreads okay in two different scenarios yeah somebody here is grieving you're gonna grieve 
or that's how it's super energy but this is somebody that may be very um, sudden because there wasn't there wasn't a, a solid foundation with somebody here and this may be a co-worker um the empress there was really brand energy the nine of pentacles and the six of cups gemini energy yeah queen of swords here uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, this could be a coworker. Or this is somebody where you were you're very good at work, but when it comes to having a more personal relationship with this person, it's not it. You're very good as business worker or coworker, but after that, yeah, you're not meant to be more than that. Um, but as you being very nurturing, or this is somebody you really took care of, like you treated this person as your child, or you saw this person as your children, so maybe you're a little bit older than them. Um, you took this person under your arms, but this is, yeah, you're single focusing on your coin. I feel like this could be somebody, maybe they remind you of your children, or maybe you feel like you have a past life with this person, Gemini energy, but you realize that this person needs to be cut no matter how much of a story, a story you have with this person, okay? Having a story with somebody, having a past with somebody doesn't mean shit. If they're toxic, they're toxic. If they're unavailable, they're unavailable. If they are no good for you, they are no good for you. Okay, and I say that from personal experience. I don't say that you just say that. Okay, and that's what I'm getting here because maybe you're reminiscing about the good old times. But if this person did something to you that was that um didn't went down the the right world like that did um that you didn't appreciate okay if you oh uh, i saw a thing here i might I'm, i don't think i'm gonna remember but i hope i will um you know if you always have to tell somebody to respect you or if you have to always complain about the same thing to someone and uh, they don't respect you they have no respect for you okay point blank period like, i literally saw that yesterday or the day before and that was so true like if you always have it's it's always the same problem we're surfacing they have no problem with you they have no respect for you okay no matter how long you you know them if they're no good for you they're not good for you okay um that is that on that like i hear all the time people having 10 years 30 years of friendships ending okay because people change people always change constantly change so maybe you were meant to be with this person for the while but after that yeah this person is no longer to be in your no longer meant to be in your life and that is what that is okay this person was there to teach you something or to open your eyes to something and once they're done their mission in your life um yeah there's a need of an ending here because this person does not know does not longer fulfills you in the way they used to and that's just life okay um but somebody new could come in or yeah somebody is gonna try to that's card is copy energy somebody is gonna try to salvage this but yeah it's meant to be to to hand here or maybe this is you you love to give you're very generous of a person you're very selfless but somebody better deserves that energy that you have to give okay not this person but somebody else deserve is more deserving on that of that energy that you can give to someone and it's just not this person okay so now let's see for career slash finances Let me shuffle real quick. Okay, so what do you see for career slash finances for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for the month of September of the nation Q1? What do you see? And this is funny, we have the three of ones again. Oh gosh, I love seeing repetitive cards because this is a sign to me that yeah, I'm I'm seeing the right things like double, triple confirmation when the same cards reappear again and again from different deck, different spreads. Okay, so let me shuffle once more. Okay, so career first. Okay, that was fast. Page of Pentacles. I can see the lovers, the Gemini energy. The Airfront Taurus energy. And 
this is funny because didn't I just saw the lovers at the year event? Okay, no, it was for love, I think, for those of you that were in a relationship. But I definitely saw the year event. Five of Swords. Okay, for career. So for the career here, Page of Pentacles, somebody is gonna offer you to work with them. So it could be a coworker or somebody you're gonna receive a new job offer here. The lovers, somebody has things for you at work or you have things for someone at work here. Um they are friend, but this person is going to be very loyal to you or you're very loyal to somebody at work here because you have things for this person um five of swords somebody here is going through some griefing phases so maybe this is somebody here that has things for you and they're going to offer you something because they they want to work with you they want to get to know you more they want to work with you yeah somebody wants to be generous and help you six of pentacles it's maybe very sudden the tower queen of swords this could be somebody you 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 told you like i don't want to have anything to do with them anymore and all of a sudden they have things for you and they want to work with you the angman um originally passes energy per person with liberal energy to me too. so this is something maybe you have you you in denial about like you know there was something more than just a co-worker type relationship um but maybe you said okay no i don't want to deal with them because maybe you are afraid to get hurt or something like that i don't know but i feel like this person is, is has really good intentions or this could be these two different people that want to help you somebody here is that has feelings and somebody else wants to help you okay <sighs> Now let's see for finances. And the six of pentacles is somebody that is very selfless. I want to mention that this is not somebody that wants to give to help you in order to receive something later. They're not gonna blackmail you. The six of pentacles is very selfless. They just this is just somebody that loves to give to others to help others without having anything in return. Okay, um, their intentions is pure. Okay, let's see. Let's see for finances. For finances. What do we have for finances? For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Orvinus. So we have the Six of Swords, Gemini Energy. We have the Judgment, Gemini Energy as well. Let's see what else we have. The Ten of Cups and the page of cups by sin energy okay so somebody here you're gonna move on from someone here maybe somebody you you trust your your money with could be a business worker somebody you share a better account with here yeah the judgment there was a handing with somebody from the past you made the judgment to lose somebody in the past when it comes to your money maybe you change your bank or maybe this was a special uh, specific co-worker um a specific employee in your bank okay maybe there's someone you're leaving behind you made the judgment the final decision to leave somebody behind for your own happiness and a new offer i see a new offer being offered to you when it comes to your money okay um but again i feel like maybe there's something new in love okay so this is somebody you love you have feelings for again um that you, you're gonna trust your money with here um yeah, Knight of Cups, as I say that. Yeah, this person has feelings for you. Could be Leo. Um, but yeah, this yeah, once again, this could be a co-worker or an employee. Somewhere, it could be at your bank. Something that does with money. Or maybe this person is a banker or they're very good when it comes to money or to handling money or handling finances. So you trust this person because you don't obviously have things for this person could be in love could be a friendship or it could be a family member here there's a new person here that you're going to trust your money with okay you're going to break up with somebody okay maybe you break up with an employee it doesn't have to be romantically necessarily but there's going to be a breakup a separation here from somebody um from your past here but it's for the better here whoever here this person is you're gonna trust whoever this new person is that you're gonna trust your money with they have feelings for you are they gonna try and court you maybe or there's an apology that needs to be placed here that is an apology that needs to be served here okay take or leave it but now let's see for friendships Okay, so you can ask for a current friendship, a past friendship, or if you should be friends with a new individual. If there's no message resonating for you, there's just nothing for her to for you to hear when it comes to your friendship, and you can always watch for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Orvina. Okay.
so i'm gonna take three cards but if more cards come up then that's what it is it is what it is but and i want to i will warn you i may not see nothing in friendship here because lately it's it seems to be that way that i'm asking for friendship but it's not even a friendship it's friends with benefits somebody has more feelings than they lead on okay so let's see What do you see for friendships for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for the month of September of 2021? What do you see for my Libras when it comes to friendships? Okay, we have exactly three cards. So, Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, Gemini Energy, and the High Priestess, we're going to do. So, you know what I'm talking about here. There's somebody you have in your mind. You're being very patient when it comes to someone because there's a decision that you know you need to make when it comes to specific friendship. But you're very much indecisive, but you know deep down what is the answer. You know deep down what ans what decision you need to make. Okay, but my I always say that. By now, okay, it could be towards the Gemini, maybe you have Gemini in your chart, regarding the Gemini, or maybe you have Gemini in your chart, or maybe this is this Gemini, a Gemini that is, that is indecisive about you, um, but I don't want, because I first started seeing as if it was you, so maybe this is you, take it really, right, <laughs> very confusing, right, but whatever, okay, <sighs> whoever needs to make a decision here, okay, there's any decision, but by now, when you are indecisive about making a decision and you decide to not make a decision, which is exactly the two of swords, right? It's somebody knowing they have to make a decision and they are not making any decision. You're still regardless making a decision. And somebody here, whoever needs to make that decision, knows sit down what is the answer, what decision they need to make, okay? Somebody here is being patient because they don't know what decision to, they don't know. Are they making themselves believe that they don't know what decision to make, but they know deep down their intuition signs have been shown to you or to this person what is the decisions that need to be made when it comes to this friendship, okay? Let's see another scenario. Yeah, like I just said, the love versus Gemini energy. Somebody has more friends than they lead on. of pentacles but this is somebody that wants okay maybe this is a long lasting friendship eight of swords you see literally talked about the eight of swords you see this is somebody that is you see how the rope are very loose like the person is very easy for the person to untie themselves this is what i was talking what i what i was talking in general but that's neither near nor there. So somebody here is stuck here. They feel like that somebody is stuck, but they know damn well they have things for this person. Maybe you feel like you cannot have this. You're scared to ruin the friendship, or they're scared to ruin the friendship, and therefore they're not coming forward to offer you this decision. And maybe they're scared. Maybe they're scared that, yeah, this is funny because I saw the, literally saw the throw of swords at the bottom of the deck, and I thought it was gonna come out, and literally came out <laughs> in a weird way, but it did though. So, so is the Flurry's energy. Somebody here has been heartbroken in the past. Or maybe they're scared that they're going to break your heart or you're going to break their heart. Or maybe this is somebody that has been hurt a lot in the past. This is not the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this is not the Ten of Cups. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is one of the best cards of the deck, if not the best. They want something solid financially, emotionally with you. They, want, they see a future with you. They want to have a family with you. Um, but maybe they are afraid of your answer or, you know... I feel like, yeah, they're going to give in. Like, this, the star, this person is going to give themselves emotionally. Like, they're going to give in. Um, put their time, effort, and energy, especially on an emotional level. But um, they're sure what they want with you. But maybe they're scared to have that with you. Or maybe they're scared that it's not going to be reciprocated. Or maybe, yeah, they're afraid that it's just going to ruin the friendship overall here. But this person is serious, okay? They're serious, okay? Let's see. Another scenario here. Somebody, yeah, some, or they may come forward soon enough here. But another scenario, Ace of Swords. Three of Cups. Knight of Swords. Okay, somebody here is going to be honest here. 
they want to have fun with you so this could be a new person coming in somebody that is very straightforward they know what they want and they go for it but be careful because another source can often be somebody that comes somebody that rushing rushes in right but they can come as fast as they can leave right so be careful so this is somebody that could want to hang out with you one time and you're confused left because it's like oh i thought we we're gonna be friends we're gonna have more than that so be careful okay um but yeah, don't expect too much from this person. But this person is very straightforward. They're very honest. But this person is maybe just here to have fun or just here to party with you. And that's it. Okay, maybe there's going to be a friendship here. This is somebody that is very passionate. They're about their passion. So this is some, somebody that could do multiple things at a time. Or this is somebody that, yeah, they follow their passion. They do a lot of different things. A lot of different hobbies. A lot of different activities. This is a person that goes on adventures. Um... So this is somebody that not, this doesn't necessarily, doesn't mean anything, but this is somebody that may not necessarily want anything solid. Um, you know, they just meet people, they just socialize, but that doesn't mean they're going to have a strong friendship, a strong connection with everybody they meet. So don't have too much expectation when it comes to this person, but do have fun with this person while they're there. I feel like this is somebody that you're just going to meet at a party, they're just going to hang out with you, and that's going to be it. But don't have too much expectations, but regardless, still have fun with this person, okay, while they're there. Um the magician here but this person may be wanting to have a brand new beginning with you or okay temper Sagittarius energy this person's gonna give you reciprocity reciprocity um and maybe a very unconventional or a very unusual friendship and i know we all have different wants and different needs in friendship but i see that so <laughs> if you're like what the fuck is an unconventional friendship whatever you you would consider an unconventional uh, unusual friendship is what what i see here okay so i'm not gonna be specific because everybody has different needs different wants so why may be unconventional for me as if in a friendship could be totally normal to you okay this is why i'm not being specific but yeah this is somebody you're not gonna have one of the strongest for long term or you're gonna have a very weird friendship like people may look at this and feel like okay are you guys friends or you're just acquaintances no but this is actually a friend like people may be in confused as to what you guys are um because people when they would look at this friendship they would tell you like this is not a friend like this is your friend this is what you would call a friend but yeah you would call that a friend just a very unconventional unusual friend but they're gonna give reciprocity here um or maybe this is somebody you just met once and they're coming back to have an actual friend and oops an actual friendship with you this is funny it came out like that very weird king of swords and two of ones in the reverse so maybe they were indecisive in the past but maybe yeah they don't want to cut you they don't want to end things with you or you don't want to end things with them take it take it out whatever it resonates here they're going to give reciprocity they're going to give you compromises but yeah this is not somebody you're necessarily going to see every single day as it is a friendship but yeah um this is somebody you're going to hear very much you in and well you know the friendship like you could you could talk um, you could allow, you could spend months without talking to this person, but I feel like this is somebody that's gonna come back like once a year, and, like you're gonna talk to this person like once a year or like two, like two times a two times a year, like that type of friendships I see here. Okay, we still like getting news from each other's, but like not every like all oh, two three months or like whenever there is a birthday, like not every like not like that here very unconventional like i said and hey you can be you can be honest to this person if you want more than in a friendship and make sure you want the same things or you agree on you know what you would consider a friendship like be sure that your needs are fulfilled your boundaries are respected just as they are um their needs are fulfilled and their boundaries are respected as well okay so that there's no disappointment you know what i'm saying so be first of all like make sure like you're on the same page like we're friends we're not what are we okay like make sure like what you want to tell this person what you look in a friendship so that you know to not be disappointed in the first place okay so that so that themselves as well let's see what another scenario and we're gonna get you an advice and we're gonna close the reading so one last scenario for friendships for swords 
Somebody here is tired. Two of two of cups. Ten of cups. Somebody here is seeing you as their soulmate, or this is somebody where you're gonna have a very strong connection from the get go. This is somebody that's gonna feel you very relaxed. This is somebody that's not gonna make you feel stressed. Okay, this is somebody you feel at ease when you talk to them. There's a very strong connection from the very get-go. Maybe both of your families know each other. Or there's a common, common person in your life here. And this is how you're going to get to know each other. Or you're already considering this person as your family. Or maybe you are family. So maybe this is a family member here. Um, could be a cousin or something like that I see here. Or maybe this is... Oh, maybe this is your parents... Um, Maybe your parents, one of your parents is best friends with someone. And this is their children that you're going to connect with. You're going to click with. Okay, better late than never, right? Um, it's like you always heard about this other person, but you never cared <laughs> enough to come close, to be close to this person. But once, the first time you met, the first time you talked, you're like, whoa, like, this is weird because you, you, how our parents are be best friends and now we are, okay, this was meant to be, okay, like, it's like your whole family, okay, you're a little family because you're, 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 I almost wanted to say your mom, but take a little bit. Um, yeah, your parents are so close, so it's like, it's family, like, you can go to this person's house, and you feel loved, you feel appreciated. Okay, sorry, I need to drink water. Yeah. Okay, I talk for too long. Um, or, like, this person, you're... You're going to consider this person your family and their family is going to consider you their family. Like, it's going to be that type of situation. Like, you're filled with love from everybody. <laughs> I love this energy. Oh, my God. It's so cute. But um, you're going to feel comfortable with this person, but you can hang out with any other family member. Like, it's it, there. You're, there's no um awkwardness. You don't feel uncomfortable. Like, you can chill at this person's house. Like, even if they're not at home, even if your friend is not at home, their parents, their sisters, their siblings is gonna welcome you and chill with you. Like, this is how close you're gonna be, okay? It's like your soul, your, your second soul family. And this person as well, when they come to your house, like, it's just welcome. Like, you're both welcomed in each other's family. And I believe that even if in France, you should feel close or you should feel at least comfortable with your friends families <laughs> that's a must that's a given to me but um well, like i said <laughs> um different people different needs um in friendships in love okay but um yeah it's like this person is your soulmate and this person's family family is your soul family like your second home like you can chill at their house if you have issues with your parents just like they can do that as well okay it's like um you don't even have to i'm very much rambling i'm lo looking realizing <laughs> um it's like you don't even have to call in advance to come to this person's house to, to your friend's house it's like they already expect you it's like oh it's you libra or oh it's it's libra's friends like it's like it's normal it's usual okay that's that's the vibe that i'm getting here and i love this vibe because it's very chilled very so family like it's like they consider you as their other children or for for your friend as well like your parent already considered this your friend as their their own children as well you share everything with them your house is my house um because i to casa <laughs> okay type of energy here <sighs> okay so now let's get you an advice Okay, so, what advice do you have for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Arvinas for the month of September of 2021, whether it's in general or in any other area in their life? What it is that they need to hear right now? What advice do you need to hear right now to, um, or during the month of September of 2021 for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus in general or in any other areas in their life? Okay, so we have nothing is yet set in stone, new, uh, mutable moon. So mutable could be mutable signs that you're dealing with. <sighs> um, 
Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see, mutable moon. Mutable is all about change, shape shifting, even that something is still developing. This card indicates that something is in it changing and there is room for maneuver. So take it as a sign that the situation you're asking about is from for finalized. If you're not happy with the current state of play, there is that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course of the outcome. However, there is also a sense that the situation could perhaps be a little unstable. For some, this is a this is great news because you can still influence it. Others will struggle with the uncertainty, but should should stay with it a little longer. Either way, nothing is set in stone yet. Attune to the moon. I know that the best will unfold for me. Additional meanings for this card. You're mandering towards your goal, and that's okay. Staying adaptable is the key to success for your for you now. Make sure you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? Time to focus. Stay with it, whatever it means to you. The teaching. In astrology, there are there are three so-called quadruplicities. Cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The mutable signs are, like I said, <laughs> literally, Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. And when the moon is in one of those these signs, you know there's going to be more flexibility in a situation. Anytime you pull this card, it suggests there's the opportunity to keep visualizing and affirming what you want as there's still room for change so think about what you want and enjoy the daydream okay so yeah that's it that's what i see for libra i hope this was insightful for you and i will see you guys next time bye guys